what we're going to do here is take a look at the notebook that we will be grading at the University of Bridgeport in our math program, our Math 105M. And one of the notebooks we'll be working on is called the Homework Lab Log. This is something that as you do your homework at home and you do the practice and the quiz maze and your test, your post and pretest on the different modules, this is where you will keep your work. And I want to show you a little bit what it would be like. So with that in mind, I've opened it up to the first page. And what we have on the inside cover of your book is this, what we call the log rubric, which is set up in vertical columns, one through five. Uh, we have the, a place for the date of lab. You can put that there. And then in class, I'll be stamping this with this type of stamp, and it has a date. So you can put the date that you're working on something. And it has the chapter you're working on or the module. Then it has mastery points, which don't uh, apply particularly to what we have here, or we could use that for something. And then there's where we initial it. And what we'll do, depending upon what you accomplish at home and in lab, we're going to rate this, again, on this scale from one to five. And after each week, and there's like 14 weeks, we will either initial or check off or somehow indicate what you have done that week in lab and at homework and award you a point, uh, one through five. Uh, we may just initial it or check it. So that at the end of the course, there will be a final tally that we'll take a look at toward the bottom and give you a grade up to five points based on what you've accomplished in this homework log. Now, one of the things you might like to see is what does it look like or what do we expect you to do? Well, I'm over here on the computer, and what we might put here is Module 1. And it's uh, Topic 1.1. Uh, and we're looking at equations. And formulas. And the way it works that in your practice, you may have up to three problems. So again, you've labeled it now, the module that you're on, the material that you'll be covering, and the topic 1.1 and example one. And what it asks here is in simple interest of $6,000, uh, for seven years, and the interest that is earned is two thousand five hundred and twenty. Now, what is the rate that caused you to earn? this much money? Well, the equation that you will use for this, and they're saying it's a simple interest, is interest equals principal times the rate times the time. So you start to substitute in, you're getting 2520 the principal is 6,000. 
We don't know the rate, so we'll put the R there. And the time is seven years. So we're going to multiply the seven times this, which I believe is 42 with three zeros R. Now in order to isolate the R by itself, I'm going to have to divide both sides by this. And I'm going to cancel this out, and I'm left with R on this side, and I'll have R equals some answer. And again, you're going to use your calculator for that. Now, the second example comes up, and you would put that there. So what I'm suggesting is that as you work on your practice, you label the pages of what you're doing, the topic, the example numbers, and then clearly show the steps to arrive at an answer. Now, you'll be doing this for practice. That's one type of problem where they give you one example at a time, and they show you the answer after each one. And over here in your math lab, there are tutorial bars that if you get stuck on something, you can refer to these tutorial bars here. And one of them will be the textbook. You can look at the textbook pages to refresh what you're doing. Now, another type of item that you're going to have when you do your homework is what is called a quiz me. And again, if you're doing practice, you might label it practice. If you're doing a quiz me, you label it a quiz me. And for the quiz me's, again, it's usually three questions, uh, one to three questions. And here you have to show all the work for these, put your answers into the computer, and you get to see if, in fact, you have mastered them. Of the three, you're allowed to miss one and still get mastery. Now, as you accumulate mastery points, you then can do what is called a post-test. And again, you would write post-test in your notes. And again, write the answers, write the problem, show the work to get the answers, put the answers into the computer, and it gives you your results. Now, to complete a module satisfactorily, you need to have a 70% or better on that post-module test. Now, there's also a shortcut to skip practice and quiz me's by taking what is called the pretest. By doing at least 70% on the pretest, that allows you to skip these and you don't have to earn mastery points. This is for some of you who feel you may know the material already. But you keep a record of this. And then when you come to class again, after your lab, you'll have other pages done and use both sides. And then I will stamp it again, and we'll kind of keep a record of what you're doing over on this side of the page. So this is one of the notebooks that you'll be keeping. It's what we're calling the Math Zone Homework Lab Log. Now, the other booklet that each student will be receiving at the beginning of each uh, term is the booklet that we're calling the Mini Lecture Booklet, uh, in which you will be doing various lessons in class and keeping notes of these. I didn't have the notes in that one. Let's look at this one. Here's where we start with the notes. And this is what we're looking for as far as this lecture notebook is concerned. So at the end of the term, we have two notebooks. Your homework log lab notebook and your lecture 
notebook. And again, this is evaluated. Part of it reflects your being there to take the notes and you're completing the notes uh, satisfactorily. But then this is the record of what we do in class and allows us to study and prepare for these pre and post test. Again, if you have questions, you're not sure how to do something uh, in lab or if there's time before or sometimes even toward the end of our regular classes, there's time and you can ask your questions. A uh, nice thing about this booklet is that at the bottom of each of the pages of our lessons, they give you the answers. But what we do in class is we go through the work. And this is the sort of work we would like to see in your uh, homework log as you do your examples. Again, we want to stress neatness, orderliness, uh, labeling, and uh, this all pays off at the end of the term when you take your exit exam, and your exit exam must have the work to support your answers. If you don't have the work, you don't get credit for your answers. So again, by working in your homework log and class lecture notebook and keeping it neat and orderly, you're developing a very important skill that will be uh, the payoff when you do your exit exam and get hopefully as close to 100 as you can. Okay, that'll wrap up what this is all about.